Hello and welcome to CoderCraft. This is episode four, and today we're gonna to be learning something different. We're gonna be manipulating a photo. So let's get started. So we have this toucan bird, and we're gonna replace the toucan's beak with another beak. I have three images here. We're gonna use this puffin's beak and this hornbill beak. To get started, the first thing we do is unlock this main layer duplicated by command J control J depending on whether you're on a PC or Mac let's rename the original layer as original we're gonna hide it the main layer we're gonna name it main that way we can always come back to the original just in case okay so let's first extract this beak press P on your keyboard or head over to the toolbox on your left and click on pen tool make sure it's selected on pen tool now if we zoom in here we can start going around the beak and then from there we'll use it as our selection to extract it I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to get this done a little bit quicker Okay, now that we outlined the beak with the pen tool, we can now hold Control or Command and let's click on the shape layer once and that'll make a marquee selection tool around the beak. Now let's hide this layer. Let's click on Main and now we can do Command J or Control J and that extracted the beak. So now we have the beak as a separate layer. Let's hide the beak. Let's head over to the main layer. Now we need to remove the main beak from the picture. So we need to blend it into the background. Now we can use the healing brush by selecting, holding down Alt and clicking on the background here and just painting over like so. Okay. and just keep on sampling there we go we're going to blend it away there we go now let's just clean it up a little bit let's use the clone stamp tool here and see if we can get rid of some of this uh, repeated uh, patterns here Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's change the hardness a little bit. I have my opacity at 27, just so it can be nice and blurred. Now here we can zoom in and change the brush size, make it a little bit smaller and do the same thing. Just get all up in there and remove the rest of the beak there we go let's change the hardness so when we get close to the beak it won't bleed over to the actual bird okay and we'll change the hardness again so we can blend this out all the hard edges and just remember to sample from other areas there we go. Great. So now if we zoom out, the bird has no beak, but we have a separate layer which can bring it right back. You see? There we go. So now we can head over to our puffin. Let's double click to unlock, duplicate, name this original and this one main make sure you always name your layers now let's zoom in here and extract the puffin beak so we're gonna again select the pen tool and we're gonna go all the way around and select the beak i'm gonna go ahead and speed the process up for us Okay, now that that's done, 
Let's go ahead and hold Command or Control and click on the Shape Layer. That'll make the marquee selection. Let's turn off the Shape Layer, click on Main, and we're going to do Command or Control J to duplicate. Let's hide the main layer, and now we have an isolated beak. Now we can drag this beak over to the Toucan and release, or we can right click, go to duplicate, and select multifunctional beak. That's where the Toucan lives, and we can click on OK, and that'll transport it right to the first uh, document tab, and we have our beak. Now we can go ahead and begin placing the beak onto the toucan. Let's go to edit, transform, and then flip horizontal. That'll flip it in the right direction. Now we need to scale it. Now for my settings, I have auto select and show transform tools. This is my preference because I like to see what I actually clicked on and to see the actual transform points. Now go ahead and click on any of these points and you can scale it down. You can hold shift to scale proportionately. Now let's zoom in a little bit here and place the beak onto this bird. I think it should be like this. There we go. Once you're done rotating and scaling, you can click on enter and that'll save all your transform settings. So we have this gap here. Obviously, the beak has to reach on the edge here. So what we can do is go to Edit, Transform, Warp. This way, we can just grab and drag. There we go. I think that is working beautifully. There we go. Once you're happy with the result, you can hit enter. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And there we go. We just replaced a toucan with a puffin beak. And I think that looks pretty good. So now you can just switch between these beaks. We'll name this puffin. We'll name this toucan. This shape layer we can delete. And there you have it, folks. Puffin. Toucan. Let's go ahead and try the second beak. This one's a little bit more interesting. Let's go ahead and unlock the layer, duplicate, rename this as original. We're going to hide it and name this one main. And we'll do the same thing we did for the first two beaks. We need to grab the pen tool by pressing P or clicking on the pen tool on the toolbox and outlining the beak. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Okay, so now that we outlined the beak, let's do the same thing we did for the first two. Let's hold Command or Control, click on the Shape Layer, hide the Shape Layer, head over to Main, and then Command J or Control J to duplicate. Turn off the Main Layer, and we have our isolated beak. Let's go ahead and drop it into our scene on the first tab. We'll name this Hornbill. And we're going to do the same thing. Let's click on our transform tools. Let's scale the beak down. Let's try to position it as best as we can on the toucan, like so. Rotate it. Great. So I like this position. Let's go ahead and hit Enter. Now. This is a little bit tricky uh, since there is a lot of curvature here. So I recommend using not the warp tool, but the liquify tool. So let's click on filter, liquify. So now we can zoom in and make sure that show backdrop is checked. Initially, if you haven't used the liquify tool, it's going to be transparent. Just click here show backdrop and also for the mode make sure it says behind that way the background picture is behind the object that you're going to be manipulating okay so now make sure this tool on the top left the forward warp tool is selected you can press w to select it now let's zoom in 
Now we're going to keep the pressure at 100. Our brush size is going to be like so. And now we can take our brush and we can move the beak to where we want it. So let's move it to the contour of the bird. We can change the brush size so we can make it fit a little bit better. You can also take this opacity slider here on the right just to see the original and what you already manipulated. So let's continue on. Okay. All right. I'm happy with this result. Let's go ahead and perfect. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And that'll save the changes to our beak. Excellent. So now we have a toucan with a different beak. We have the original. We have the puffin and we have the hornbill. Now you can use this technique to replace feet, for instance, a uh, uh, bird's head or this branch. But remember that whenever you're removing something, you have to fill the background. So when you remove something, there's always a background right behind it. Because when we remove something, the original picture is still gonna be there. That's why we need to use the eraser tool and the pattern tool to remove the original image and create the background. And that's about it. I am gonna include a fourth image for you guys to use and test out. I'm gonna include all the image files in the description below for you guys to download. And that's about it. This concludes our episode four on photo manipulation, replacing and removing backgrounds. So that concludes our episode four for today on photo manipulation how to remove and extract, and how to make backplates so you can replace any object that you want. Today we used the clone stamp tool, the healing brush, the warp tool, and the liquify tool. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe for new and updated videos. My name is Michael Friedman, and you're watching Codacraft. Thank you guys, you're awesome. <laughs>